Hi, this is John from Soundcraft, and welcome to the UI series tutorials. In this installment, I'd like to show you how easy it is to use the playback and recording features of a Soundcraft UI series mixer. For this example, I'll be using a UI 16 that offers both playback and recording. The UI 12 features playback only. I'm using a MacBook Pro here, connecting with a Chrome browser directly to the hotspot of the UI 16. The UI 16 can play back and record digital audio files from connected USB media like thumb drives and portable USB drives. Simply connect your drive to the USB port on the front panel of the UI mixer. The UI 12 has a port labelled Play, while the UI 16 has two ports labelled Play and Record respectively. The UI's internal player can play back a range of audio file formats from WAV, MP3, FLAC and more. The UI 16 can record 32, 24 or 16-bit WAV files at 48 kHz. The built-in player feeds its output directly into the mixer. It doesn't consume any of your other input channels and has its own dedicated left and right channel inputs. You can place the player channels either before or after the current input channels. This is done by activating the channel pop menu on the player channels and selecting place before inputs. As you can see, the player channels have jumped before channel one on the mixer. Alternatively, I can send them to place after inputs. As you can see, the player channels are just two normal channels in our mixer. All audio processing can be done on the player channels just like it can be on the other input channels. For example, going into the edit menu and applying EQ, dynamics, or sending it out on effects send, or sending the player to an auxiliary send. For this example, I'm going to concentrate on how to use the player functions. Clicking on the play icon in the top navigation panel accesses the player page. The player's mixer channels are pinned to the left-hand side, where you've got normal controls like level, mute, solo, and pan, the channel strips that you see on the normal front page of the mixer. You also have some mode buttons for the player, a player transport, and an area where you can browse connected media and play those files. Let's connect some media. I've just inserted a USB thumb drive where I've got some audio material arranged in certain folders. Once read by the mixer, you'll see that these folders show up as playlists in the user interface. The first playlist, or folder one on the drive, has four MP3 tracks in it. The second playlist has three MP3 tracks in it. And because I've made recordings on this UI 16 previously, there's a recordings folder that houses all the recordings that I've made. Interesting to note that the time and date is stamped into the name of the file. There's a virtual all folder, which shows all media on the drive, and a virtual root folder, which shows any loose files that haven't been arranged into any particular folders. To play a file, all you need to do is to select the file name and click play. As you can see, the audio is passing into the left and right channel player strip and subsequently the master output. I can stop that file, select a new file, and push play. To the right of the player, you'll see the player timer. It shows the current playback time position and also the length of the currently selected track. The progress meter moves across the page from left to right while the file is playing. You can grab the handle and move that to a new position if desired. There are two modes in playback. One is manual and the other is auto. When in manual mode, you need to start and stop the tracks in your playlist one after the other as you need. If it's in auto mode, it'll move on to the next track automatically. The cue mode is great when you're in manual mode. This means if you start selecting a file for playback and you stop it, you select play again, it queues up the next track and starts playing automatically. For convenience, we've added play and record button options that can be assigned to the top of the master channel strip. To assign those buttons, you go to the settings tab, 
Select Settings. Scroll down the page until you see the Button Function area. And here, you've got the Function 1 button and the Function 2 button. These refer to these positions here and here. Currently, I've assigned Function 1 button to play, Function 2 button to record. That means wherever I am on the mixer, they are always present for me to press play and record. To use the recorder, all you have to do is set your record mode. This is done in Settings, Settings tab, and Record Mode. Here you can set 32-bit, 24-bit, or 16-bit recording. I'll leave mine at 32-bit. Whenever you want to record anything going on in your mixer, all you have to do is click the Record button. All recordings will appear in the Recordings folder inside your playlists. That's it for UI Series USB Playback and Recording. I'm John from Soundcraft, and thanks for watching.